So we were just talking with this man, Gnupa of Vashka. He said his nomads are a little bit unhappy about about everything that's going on in Willet, and they might they might go free. They might go away from from us in a short moment when we if we don't build them a city or something. But really, we should we th we think we should first convert them because, yeah, otherwise they're gonna leave anyways. At least that's the experience. So that's nomad agitation. So uh, we're trusting on Gnupa of Vashka to live long enough. I mean, he's only stressed. What can happen? He's only stressed and fat. Oh my God, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. Yeah, that's the realization that we just had. Welcome, this is Manuel Khan, and uh, we're the, with the Lords of the Fjords and our Emperor Magni the Legendary, managing this this great, great empire of Nenetsia, one of the greatest empires out there. Based in the Nord, and we probably should really do this. I mean, we've already sent the cleansing flame in, in Villa to proselytize and I think we're still we're still gonna pull it through. It's it's probably the best um, to do that. Look, we also have this here and that's a problem, but we have sent our special forces led by Grim the Mutilator of Helsingland. Who likes us? We really think not highly <laughs> not that highly of him, but um, that's that's why we've made him an army leader. Yeah, so I mean he's he's phenomenal as an army leader and and if he dies, well that's fate. I mean he, he wanted to do this. Oh god, there's measles. Look at the measles coming. It's gonna be dangerous. And we wanted to move there. I mean one of the advantages here in good old Kuloi it's definitely that we are not afraid from disease, so there's that. Well, let's continue now. I want to improve our, our realms. First, the, the uh, Jaldom of Swiviot and also this Jaldom of Bjarmia. Well, the defensive pact is slowly dissolving. After we've gotten a lot of land additions again, and uh, of course a lot of punishment against our vassals, what's going on there? There's a Danish army trying to plunder here somewhere. There's Giselhurst's host. Ooh. Yeah, there's a lot of movement here of people trying to plunder. We'll try to catch them. What's going on? Vassals race too long? No, no, not race too long. Oh! Sterla! Sterla of Nordericke. What does he want? He wants Hastain. Must be his second son or something. Strong claim of on Nord Ricky. Woo. And our daughter Alfred to marry. His father wanted to kill us. But he himself not. He's got some vicious rumors. He's a craven, he's a wrath, he's paranoid. He's a fa fat falconer. He's gonna die soon, probably. Uh, all of our, all of these people, but mm, he's got just stress relief, so that's cool. Mm, hey, Stain. How is this one? Mm, solid. Gotta go for diplomacy. Our warrior princess here is, is groomed already, diligent and chaste. Mm. Yeah, Alfred, I, th I think you, you will have someone good in in Haystein. We think he's okay, so here we go. Let's get them betrothed. And let's go let's go and uh, attack this host here, Cat's host. 
There's a crusade against our religion now. now. What's the target? The target is the King of France, Epirus and Georgia. And it's done by the Duchess of Trach. Really? We are with the defenders. Good luck. The crusade for Lombardy. The marshal has, though, has discovered a man of great military talent. Um, called Arnie. Uh, he's coming from, uh, from, from the lands below here. New Serbia uh, here. Like, probably the, the, the Austria of today. And he's brawny. Shy, envious, arbitrary, temperate. He's an organizer. Oh, we love that. That's excellent. We love these commanders. Let's see. Can we make him a commander instantly? That would be great. Where's Arnie? Gunnar. We have Helge. Helge is nothing special. How about Gunnar? Yeah, they, they all have a future as a commander too. Maybe that man, because I think we need him. He, he's a good opinion of us and he's, he's a mayor, so we'd rather have Arnie in there. And you know what? Let's give Arnie control. Let's have Grim here. And Arnie's going to lead the middle so he can speed up the march a bit with his organizing. There we go. Oh, we might see the Rock of the Ravens latest installment completed very soon. Hopefully that will work. Look at that. The Nenis army is... Uh-huh. Oh no. Oh no. What did you do? Gonna hurry. Hurry up. Hurry up now. You're gonna be good. What about Grimm? What is he good at? He's a good direct leader. Well, let's get Grimm back to the middle. And then we'll have Arnie and we'll have Runwald on the sides. They're just very good leaders. Yeah, I mean, what can we do? That's the orders of the armed thugs attacked my mother. She barely escaped with, his, with her life. Is now severely wounded. Sinister forces are at work. <gasps> mother. Now look at that. Yeah, I mean, what chance could they have against the power of the Norse? Oh my goodness, someone di Oh no! Mother died. Of an infected wound, that was quick. She was so brave. What are we, go are we gonna do without Mother? What are we gonna do? And Jal Toste of Sjelland has also inherited from Good Roger of Sjelland. Oh goodness. So we need a chancellor. What can this man do here? He could be an advisor. Do we have advisors that can do anything? Aina was pretty incompetent. How about Ketamund? He's a passable marshal. How's our marshal? Uh, our marshal's a good marshal. Ketamund the butcher. He could be steward, eh? Diplomat. He could be a diplomat. Uh, Chioste, what's he good at? 
steward. This man's a good steward. He's also an okay marshal. Doesn't help anything, they're just incompetent. Now we need someone who is good and loyal. And, um. Well, we have Charton. We have our concubine, Vizina Jasper's daughter. She's deceitful though, but. Um, we really like her. She kind of likes us. And she's very good at it. That's gonna work out. Of course that's gonna work out, right? <laughs> Chancellor Magni the Jarl of Savarot. Oh goodness, yeah, our son. He's a masterful diplomat. It is as it is. We need a new designated regent, and that could be the King of Finland and our advisor. The kings. Mm. No, we need our son to be the regent. And we need a new herdman. Sterla. Is she still at it? I thought she died. No, she's just infirm and stressed. Elin Otthar's dot here. She didn't die. Now, back to the fight. Colossal victory incoming, probably. Not at the moment, but now. Now it's all breaking down. Oh, that's gonna hurt them. Look at that. Yeah, they're gonna run like they've never run before. And we can do it like that. Let's march back though. We have even better things to do. And um, these better things are, well, I don't know. How's Bjarmia? Oh, according to your marshal, the peasants of Dwina are having frequent troubles with highwaymen and wild beasts. Oh, marshal, a safe peasant is a productive peasant. Ah, we've recovered well from the flu, finally. Now, the coughing fever and headache are just unpleasant memories. Yeah, the flu has killed a lot of the Dovres recently. Thankfully, not us. And, um, how about our concubine? Are we still swaying her? Yeah, we should. She's our spy master. With the use of my extensive knowledge, I'm confident I will be able to sway Bizina into becoming my trusted friend. Mm. Access to her li library. <laughs> no, no. Um, I will teach her about Odin. Zina has received my small essay very positively. She wrote me back that she, she's humbled by my gift and that she's eager to test the efficacy of the rituals listed within. It's rare to find someone who appreciates the value of reading. It's time for another private conversation. She accepted my invitation to meet in the seclusion of the sacred grove in the Rock of the Raven. After some time talking, we'll again try to seduce her. She returned the kiss and more. Afterwards, they talked for hours. We found ourselves fascinated by her infectious smile. <laughs> and Emperor Magni is in love. And she's, well, she's not in love, but she's attracted. 
Or is she... Yeah, she's she's very... Uh, she's also in love. For like ever. So... Mission successful. Beloved spy master. My goodness. Yeah. That's busy now for you. And now... Prince Jasper. How about our wife? Things have been okay for a while. Let's let's sway her now. I also want a good relationship with her. Starla has been in Upland and increased people's opinion there. They're working harder now, which is good. Yeah, he's a good man. Definitely a good man. The goalie of what? There are raiders in Sandland. They're away. Aha. Uh -huh. oh, we need to look into the intrigues again. Something, someone is trying to kill someone important. No. Not so much. Um, let's continue our ways. And there's the question if we can get more retinues now that we have a little bit more money. No, absolutely not. Um, it is fine that way though. 1,000 here, 4,000 here. Jorolf of Mesen has usurped the title of country of Urga from Borgward Thorfinnsson. Ah, this man is really getting it on. This zero-year-old intriguing man. The regent, Chief Vese the Wise. The Emperor Magni of Nenezia writes Chief Mitrofan the Sword of Odin of Bryansk. Let's see about him. He's got a hair lip. Patient, kind and deceitful. Ooh. And he has like some, some kind of a an Ilmenian wife. During your wife's recent visit to Bryansk, we had a great time discussing the similarities between our people. I suggest a normal aggression pact between us for the near future and welcome any visitors from your realm with open arms. Yeah, what a wonderful idea. Only bad things can come of this. <laughs> what? Scully Bosson. He wants to kill someone. Kjartan the Lud. Kjartan the Lud is our court skald. Um, come, come on, you can't do this. We need the entertainment. Chancellor is doing great things. Ooh, Rickles has inherited from Faste. So, our... What? Faste was burned at the stake? What? Not at our orders. What did he do? He was in our dungeon, but he was burned at the stake. Well, anyway, we have Rikulf of Vastmanaland. Our nephew here. He's got some weak claims and a strong claim on the Jaldum of Severod. Um, he's heavily guarded. We'll make him our friend, hopefully. 
What can we do? We can again... Wow, Fall Queen of Fall Queen's Host. A lunatic. No, we're not going to give our daughter, who's probably also a lunatic, to a lunatic. Yeah, most people we've met recently are lunatics for some reason. What's going on with the Riga? There's people here. Reganians. I don't know. Let's get this on. You. Do away with them. Ah, Willet, the majority of the population has been converted to the Germanic faith. Excellent. And now we need... I think we need some kind of a stone hill fort or something. And then we can... Uh, make this... Administrative outposts of the Chinese. What? Um, no, we need we need our. Come on, where are you? We need our steward there to oversee the constructions. In Willet, can't you go to Willet? Come on. So it's not on, under our direct control or what. We'll build the, ma the earth hill fort in the village tribe then. Here we go. I think we need a stone hill fort to have this brought into a proper castle. And that can be done more easily than building a, uh, a city or something. Your dedication to religious pursuits has been noticed around the realm. Among others, it has quite impressed Godi Sonek of Vorkjala maintain correspondence on various religious and philosophical matters for some time and find you are rapidly becoming good friends. Our common interests bind us together. Oh, nice. So we have, we have a friend and he has gout already. That's really unfortunate. Um, but at least we've got a friend. Where is he? He's here. Oh, that's good. Let's see. Yeah, he's living in the temple there. The temple of Wokima. Good for him. Let's see, what can we do now? We have an ambition. We could build a war chest. See the realm prosper. Yeah, let's build a war chest, you never know. And then after that we can try to see the realm. But we could extort the subjects, but we are not going to do that. We're just going to look at everything and see. No. I think the measles are already disappearing again. Prince Magni seeks to kill Rikulf of West Manorland. Naturally, probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, oh, he's got a carousing focus. Well, that's going to be interesting. This shy socializer. A shy and cynical, deceitful socializer. How odd this personality is of of our son. How is his wife? She's also cynical. She's paranoid even. Ambitious, quick, kind, patient. She's going to help him well. Othelindis. Our loyal was a gloom, olufs and skjöldung. Ah. No, no, no gloom. We don't want that stuff of yours. What about their levies now? Oh, people are just... Yeah, just fleeing already. Alright, then we're gonna return to Kloy, maybe. We could extort the, the subjects. No, but we will proselytize somewhere else here. 
My love, Bezina has just informed me that she's pregnant with my child. What wonderful news. But I was away, wasn't I? <gasps> Doubt besets me. She's deceitful too. We're really content. We'll hire someone to find out. Just a little someone. We cannot find out anything because she's the spy master. Um, I'm Chief Nga of Kolm is Bezina's lover and the real father of the child. My goodness. How could she do this? I'd better keep this quiet. Hmm. Chief Nga of Kolm. It's high treason. I mean, but we're in we're in love, and I think she's also in love. So we better keep this quiet. Because I mean, we're content, and we're patient. We're not gonna gonna hurry things. She has betrayed us once. Maybe we need a real spy master. With deceitful and an impaler. No. Just no. No. We're gonna need her. It's his personality. Already got very good children, so... Um, maybe he's looking for someone else to, to share his nights as well, just... Because he's so... Yeah, he's pr probably returning to his wife a bit. For the time being, and then... You never know. You never know. But the very reason was, I mean, and that was his calculating mind. That he really wanted uh, wanted another male heir. So we've got to look for another concubine here. Who is there? Chaste, cruel, patient. No. Hmm. I'm gonna search the realm. For this, mm. that's not gonna be good enough for him. Daria. A mastermind theologian, turtle diligent, stubborn, kind, shrewd, but Slavic. No, that cannot be as a as a proper zealot. Ilva, hmm. rather not. This girl, oh, she's cruel, charitable, chaste. That counteracts a bit, right? Berg fled. Medina, she's crazy. Goodness. Uh, sunny. He's also patient. And a little bit paranoid. Uh. Hmm. 
maybe we're just gonna look after age, right? And uh, then just have a general look. Everything's fine. Mm. Another Bizina. <laughs> that would be crazy. Regin Lint? Yeah, you know what? She seems to be okay. Regin Lint. Yeah, we have some things in common with Regin Lint. Oh. What, 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 what? Wait. There are these raiders. Okay, they are here. More importantly, Kettlemund has declared a holy war on Kring Rog, the liberator of Austrasia. Austrasia? Oh, that's, that's a Cathar. The Finnish holy war on that Cathar man? Yeah. It's fine. You can do that. And Regin Lint has arrived at the court. And she thinks we're great. Just right off the bat. Well. And we're popular for some reason. Don't really know, but uh, don't really know why, but we're popular. Oh, your, lo your loyal vassal, Hawk on Ellingson. No, 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 no leverage for you. A city has finished construction in Sudermanland. Oh, nice. Um, Sudermanland. It was here. Hmm. The city of Torshala. Well, let's see. Who we have at our court. Well, let's rather find that here. Search the court. Any. 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 We want someone with high stewardship. Scully of Colloy. A courtier, or oh, well, he's um, our commander Renwald. Very loyal man. Oh, why not? Renwald of Nenezia. We'll give him the city of Torshala. Great, great, great. Mayor of Torshala now. Oswulf of Varde sent you a courier with an offer. He's willing to make a significant donation. Hmm. No, we don't want to owe anyone a favor. It's not it's not good. We're just gonna wait it out a bit. I think inviting Empress Ingeborg to an activity we can do together would help us grow close, but I'm not entirely sure what kind of activity uh, I should suggest. What is she interested in? A hunt. We're both good at that. A hunt will be perfect. Yeah, that's something refreshing. She thanked me for the invitation to join a hunt, but she does not have time at the moment. No. No. And our spy master, is she in hiding or what? She's in hiding. 
A daughter was born to her and an unknown father named Heidelwig. Well, we know the father. Uh, she's of the Ngaid dynasty. And, oh, we got a 20. No, we got a 9. We got a 5. Etiquettal. I was born the child of another man. I cannot believe this betrayal. Woe is me. We can imprison her. She loves us and we hate her now. Can we just, I mean, what could she do? We should we should set her aside and uh, not make her our spy master anymore because we're really, I mean, we're patient and all, but it doesn't make sense anymore. Set her aside. And we will break up with her. It's just too much. It's not good. And uh, yeah, we need to appoint someone else. Regan Lint would be good here, yeah. or oh, or oh, our wife. She's also deceitful, though. And she's recently not answered positively to us. <sighs> it's a shame. It's a shame. We're going to think about this dilemma in the next episode. Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. This is Monokan signing out. See you soon, my friends, and happy gaming.